Hi, I'm Jessie. Yes, the one in the Pokemon sweater. I know, awesome. <laughs> no matter what type of person you are, these tips I'm about to show you are going to help you through this environment we all have to adapt to. That sounded very scientific. Basically what I'm saying is, I've got you covered. <laughs> Super quick intro if you want to hear more from me than stay until the end. I was inspired by Ned's Declassified. That show was my childhood and I wish that freshman Jesse knew about all this. I wish that sixth grade Jesse knew about all this. Also, there is a giveaway at the end and it involves music. Let's see if we could get this too. <laughs> what was that? 15 thousand likes what <laughs> i felt like a boy like a singing teacher or something first off for me putting my own spin on all these popular videos if you want to see a new fandom video perhaps relating to back to school this is a collab with my girl jess where jess and jess were just squared Ooh yeah <laughs> So Jess is going to be doing a do-it-yourself school supplies video, which is so helpful. I watch so many of those and get inspired. She's like the TARDIS to my doctor. If that made any sense. I don't think it did, but you you get my point. <laughs> Another geeky reference from Jesse. Thank you. Thank you very much. Comment your favorite song at the moment if you're not subscribed. That face meant business. <laughs> be sure to subscribe. I will link it right here. Oh. That's better. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to be walking you through a ton of awkward situations in school and how to avoid them. And you can laugh at me dressed as a boy, it's pretty funny. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing that with life hacks and tips. Here is Back to School Survival with Jessie. <laughs> Sometimes you have to buy your own textbook or even worse, you lose your textbook and you have to pay for it. I've got you covered. There are multiple websites where you can buy textbooks cheaper. For example, thriftbooks.com. Not only hipsters have to do thrift shopping. That was a corny joke. To prevent your listic, as Miranda Sings would say, from smudging, I recommend bringing one of these plastic drink containers. Mine doesn't actually have Starbucks in it. Sadly, too expensive for me to have every day. It's just water, but it feels fancier in the Starbucks cup. And it's better for the environment. Yay! <laughs> According to the internet, it is scientifically proven that you should study for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break to work the most efficiently. Also, being in the sun is proven to make you happier, so it is better to study outside so that you just have a more positive outlook instead of, you know, like in a dark corner. You know, like Harry Potter's room. Decorations that are specifically just for the locker. A lot of the times you get the same stuff over and over. So that you can be different and awesome, I recommend getting a waller online. So whether it's because of your classmates or stress, or because you've got that theme song stuck in your head. <laughs> so if you have a headache, just take a frozen bag of vegetables, put it on your head, and put your hands and feet into warm water. For if your phone runs out of battery in school and you have to actually socialize, what? I admit it, I pretend to text on my phone sometimes to avoid awkward situations. <laughs> to save battery life, first off, you guys probably knew this, but just in case, turn down your brightness. Second is to turn off Bluetooth and set auto lock to one minute. So things that I think you need in your locker. First thing, a trash bin because crumpled up pieces of paper basically made up the entire mass of my locker in middle school and leftover lunches in the mix. Trust me, you do not want that to happen to you. I recommend writing your schedule or a to-do list on a whiteboard. Also, during back to school time, lots of companies just take wallpaper and add the word locker to the front and make it 10 times more expensive. So I recommend just using something like tablecloth, gift wrapping paper, etc. It can be super cheap. So this is help for gym class, whether you're the person that is way too into it and takes it way too seriously, or the person that always goes to the back of the batting line during gym and fears for his or her life during dodgeball. 
That's me. <laughs> so after gym class, take your sneakers and put tea bags in them. Trust me, it'll automatically make them smell better. Also, cinnamon can help you stay awake. So you can have cinnamon gum, cinnamon during lunch. And eating an orange before exercising will apparently help to prevent muscle soreness. Just saying. If you fall in gym, I feel you, it happens to me all the time, then I recommend bringing band-aids to school instead of having to go all the way to the nurse just for a band-aid and their Toy Story band-aids. My excitement for Toy Story band-aids is real. Don't pretend that you wouldn't be this excited too. <laughs> If you couldn't study during study hall because of that really annoying classmate that just would not stop talking, then I've got you covered. First, I recommend taking bath salt and putting it in the bathtub and just dipping in your feet and then taking your flashcards and studying in there. It makes you feel like you're at some extremely expensive fancy spa, but really the bath salts were like two bucks. Nobody has to know that. <laughs> You know those people that never know the date and always have to ask everyone? That used to be me, but that doesn't have to be you. <laughs> First off, I've said this in a video before, but I definitely recommend bringing earplugs to school. And they work perfectly with brothers, trust me. <laughs> I use post-it notes for to-do lists. At the top of the to-do list, I will always put the date. Using color is actually proven to help you retain memory. Oh yeah, I found that out from the internet. Totally didn't just know that. <laughs> I recommend keeping this in your locker, a mini board game, yes those exist. This is mini bowling, it is not as much fun as bowling, but it's adorable, okay? <laughs> if you might wear jewelry later in the day and you don't really know, so you just want to have it just in case, I recommend wearing jewelry in your wrist. If you play guitar, a guitar pick puncher, yes those exist. You can use construction paper, old credit cards, stuff like that. I've done it with Pokemon cards. If you run out of room on your phone because you've been taking too many selfies, then you can use Snapchat and take a picture on there and save it from there. Reading long passages can be super intimidating. I've got you covered. Someone please count how many times they say I've got you covered in this video because it's a lot. So after maybe one paragraph or however many paragraphs, I like to reward myself with food. I mean, it works with dogs so it can work with humans or mermaids. <laughs> you are more likely to remember things when you say them out loud and also when you write them. So I recommend keeping post-its and putting them into your textbook and writing down main points. Can we all take a minute to laugh at my face expression here? Because it's, it's, I don't know how to explain that. And lastly, you do not have to buy a planner. Just print them out online. I suffer through many awkward moments in the making of this video, but at least it will help you guys. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Yep, I can definitely relate fandoms to everything. <laughs> Dan is not on fire in his leather shirt. <laughs> My choker is, it reminds me of definitely like something I would make when I was like four or five in like an arts and crafts class, but I think it's kind of cool in that way if that makes any sense. Kind of 90s esque. It's like a smiley face choker. So me and Jess are going to be giving away a pair of friends headphones. What? So Jess had the awesome idea to give away the headphones and then I was like, we should also make it kind of personal. So I decided we would give away our own playlists. My heart, my soul, my tears, they all went into this. <laughs> like nine of them because I like too much music. I make the playlists public after a while, but I definitely want to first like share this with the with the winner. <laughs> These names are gonna make you laugh. This one is called Eating Pizza with Your Favorite Band Member. Train to Hogwarts, so when you're on your way to Hogwarts, you could listen to this. This one is called I'm a Rocker, I Promise. This one is called Netflix and Tumblr Date. This one is called Getting Ready for an Epic Day. I feel like a fairy in a magical forest. <laughs> I'm crazy. Number one, be subscribed to my channel and to Jess's channel. I will be checking. Dun dun dun! Each comment will be an entry. So, like I said, the comment challenge before is to comment your favorite song at the moment. So in that comment about your favorite song, just also leave your social media in that comment. If you do 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 do. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. <laughs> Uh, my humor is weird. <laughs> In one month, we will announce the winners on Twitter and probably YouTube. So, don't leave. What's that?
Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I was gonna do like a, just one of the videos that I've seen a lot of on YouTube, but I was like, I just had an epiphany in the shower. I'm just like, <laughs> all great ideas come in the shower. It's actually scientifically proven that. Okay, <laughs> bye. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Not supposed to happen. Do both arms. Most do boys too.